Hello there. Welcome back to Minecraft Dinosaurs. Oh, oh, went a bit weird there with my voice. Hope you're all doing well. We are, well, we're playing with shaders for one reason and one reason only, and we're in creative for one reason only. I'm sure you're all aware that the Twitch exclusive build, you have seen, well, pretty much most of this, right? You would think, but what if I told you? You've seen a fraction. I would say less than half. <laughs> And that other half, or more than other half, is now complete. We actually finished it about a week and a half ago, or a week ago on stream. My brain doesn't do dates very well. However, I had left it until this point to be able to show it because I had a bit of backlog for videos. Now, well, before I actually record any more of the Minecraft Dinosaurs actual series, I wanted to do a small showcase of the build. So as you can see, the wizard tower is hiding something quite dark and mysterious. As you enter, this is what you'll see. Some sort of weird shrine. In fact, this is definitely a serial killer's basement, and I I forgot that that could come off that way. That's my bad. And if you look at the pistons, look, they're timed so the last one comes out last. It's great. I love it. Uh, and you can enter through this little serial killer's basement that was completely unintentional. And you'll start to notice how crypt like this truly is. We have our first little commemoration. This is actually from last year when we started the build. And, um, well, Logan is, of course, Kermit, or the British frog. And four is in four flyer one, who were both getting stressed out about my building. <laughs> so this is their blood pressure. This is in memory of their blood pressure. It's also the reason that because of Kermit's Rage, we have on Twitch a Kermit Rage emote, and it is my favourite emote I've ever seen. I absolutely adore it, and that um, commissioner, the person I commissioned, sorry, the commissioner, the person I commissioned, Hannah L-A-I-X-O, is no longer going to be taking commissions soon. They are on their swung song of commissions, and by the time this video goes live, they may not be taking any more, which is a damn shame because they're incredible, but they're taking it back as a hobby, which is just awesome. You know, fair play, all the power to them. And then the next thing we have is our commemoration of fighting Arnu. Never again, am I right? And finally, the last commemoration we have in this area, at the very least, is our egg. The dragon egg from when we fought the ender dragon. In here, we have like a little, um, almost like a sort of ancient Egyptian tomb sort of vibe of just, you're able to taking a little look in like at a museum and just seeing what it would have looked like. And it's pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. You come through here more into this crypty sort of, I would say, gothic dwarven build. You know, given that vibe. And then you come all the way along following. I'm so glad we have it on peaceful. Otherwise, this would have been a disaster by now. You come through here and you get led to a staircase. Now that looks... Come on, don't lie to me. With shaders on, this looks ominous as all hell, right? <laughs> now you might be wondering what is in this place. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a downside to using shaders um that is the abyss as in that is the edge of the world i have completely removed the bedlock bedlock bedrock at the lower levels so you fall you drop to your demise now this is when we actually finish the build the in chat 26th of may 2023 so by the time this video goes live that's been a couple of weeks ago the actual vibe is a giant crypt with almost like a portal as you can see, that's just leading into a very dark dimension where these skeletons are coming out and holding up this bridge because they're kind skeletons. And they've got what I like to call bendy and ink machine eyes. Um, but when you fly past them, it looks like they're following you. And I absolutely adore that. Uh, it looks like wherever you're looking, they're just staring right at you. And that is, quite frankly, haunting and terrifying. Now, we have these two towers in the middle of the map, uh, or the map, the um, zone. And these towers actually take you down a level or down several levels all the way down to the bottom level and they connect these different um, platforms. Each of these platforms has two plinths on it and each of these plinths are effectively just commemoration plinths. So the idea is using andesite, wall, whatever, you create a skeleton to commemorate something that has passed away. And of course we have lost caffeine very, fairly recently and caffeine doesn't have a grave. So caffeine will be getting a grave right here. So the idea is that rather than relying on that tiny little graveyard, every time we lose someone, we're going to create a little commemorative plinth. They'll get their own little commemorative episode, and then they will get their own commemorative um, 
tomb. So the tombs will go into the wall, we'll figure out how we're going to decorate them at a later point, but something like that. So it's three, it keeps it nice and symmetrical. I like it that way. Now, I am aware we might lose more than we currently can <laughs> house, but I'm pretty sure we've got graves for everything else, um, and this is just an additional six graves, effectively. And if we need to build more, we can certainly review where that space can go. But I am a massive fan of this build in shaders. Out of shaders, you can really see the difference um, with how much the stone doesn't quite match the volcanic brick sort of vibe. But with shaders on, it just looks great. But I will show you guys without shaders so you can get a better look of the entire map, however. Um, I feel that is only fair. We'll wait for Minecraft to give me a small heart attack because I don't know if it's going to crash or not every time I turn on or off shaders. However, I look over to my second monitor and I can see that action is still recording. So my voice should still be audible. I suppose we'll find out. And there we go. So as you can see what I mean, like the volcanic brick doesn't completely work with the stone, but I'm not massively against it. But this is the entire level. As I said, like the tower itself was less than half of the actual build because I had to build all this skeleton, the concept of it, giving it a sternum, giving it its collarbone, everything just by literally looking up ideas for a skeleton and then actually looking at my body. So what I would do is I'd put my arm out stretched and go, well, the shoulder's going up here and stuff like that, and it's twisting. And I think I did an all right job considering, you know. Um, remember, I'm not like a super solid builder. Uh, with creative, I can probably jump from a three out of 10 to a weak six out of 10. But I am honestly super duper proud of this build um it's genuinely brought me a lot of joy to build i don't know what i was supposed to do with that i feel like i could connect a little bit better but that's, 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 no no I'm not extending the build anymore <laughs> there was a point that i was just finding new things to add on to it and i was like no there's no point if i'm at a point where i'm finding things to add on i think i'm comfortable calling this complete now the idea is that we will continue doing twitch exclusive builds and they will use creative and big episodes like episode 300 will have their own builds and they will also use creative but I'm going to be taking a break from doing this on Twitch for a while. Uh, not super long, maybe a couple of months at most before we move on to the next build, which means I actually need your help. Not only can you suggest to me on Twitch what you think would be the next build, you can suggest to me on Discord and in the comments section what you think the next Twitch build should be. I might not use your idea. I might use some of your idea. And I might actually use your entire idea. I'm completely open to anything. And I do mean literally anything that within, well, well, well within reason. <laughs> Almost shoehorn myself into a problematic area there. Um, but something just within reason. I'd be more than happy to try. I have seen something on social media that has given me such a buzz, like a small Instagram video of someone building a massive, massive observatory. And within that observatory is hosted a map of the world on the floor. And it's, I'm talking massive with like a thousand blocks. Wide. It's, it's crazy, right? I think something like that would be so cool. But I'd want to keep it up to date. So I'd have to segment off the different ones. Um, like, so for example, you know, where I'm not going. Like if I was to go over there, for example, and build over there, I'd have to make sure that the map that had that over there gets updated. But I think it's genuinely such a good idea. And I would be super duper chuffed to try it. But hey, that's just a thought from me. That's one idea at the very least. Um, and it uses a lot of maths. And I like that. Or math to Americans. That's the same thing. You, you get what I'm hitting at and I get what you're hitting at. It's just a different, different way of saying it. We've of course got a rather creative build right here. And we are looking at maybe a pirate cove and a port over here and a pirate cove over there. And that will really wrap up this sort of section. We've got a smock build there. We've got all this space here. And we've got the space up there that we can start utilizing. And start just really branching out. I mean, even... I mean, then the next parts after the smock build is obviously doing a bit more industrialization. We've got so much space around here where we can just build things. And even up to here, like, I mean, all around here. We've got a dock over there. Just a small dry dock. But, like, building, like, a little shanty hut. Uh, which we can do in survival, to be fair. It's not going to be too much of a problem and actually reviewing the way that the pier looks i think would be really cool i would like and this is a crazy 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 concept but i'd like to hear your thoughts um eventually i would like to build probably all the way over here and it is some distance and i appreciate that so this might be episode 300 build it might be our next twitch exclusive build i'm just putting it out into the ether to get some feelers see how people feel about it something like here a massive pier 
and on that pier building like a little playground like festival playground oh, i don't know what they call them fun fairs or a um carnival or something do you know, like pier carnivals pier um or just a pier that we call in the uk we just call it a pier oh my god there's a cool pier stuff like that um because the piers over here for example like brighton uh blackpool stuff like that like, like they're genuinely so cool and i think something like that would be so much fun to build and i just want to incorporate a lot of quite frankly a water-based builds because i love building near the water i think it's just so much fun as well as building underground building overground eh, <laughs> I'm, I'm all right with but I, I think based on my builds recently you can tell that i'm kind of a fan of building underground i don't know what gave it away <laughs> But there is that, and I think it's just quite nice keeping some of the Minecraft scenery alive for it, effectively. I still need to fix that, but I will do that, I promise. And I'll be, I will use Creative to fix those domes, because I hate them. Um, now, that being said, that's the Twitch exclusive build done. And I think I've been doing that for nearly a year. No, I'd say six, seven months, maybe up to nine. Who knows? Enough, maybe, for a pregnancy. <laughs> so it's my baby. But it's been so much fun, and I think just... Being able to use creative has helped me massively in terms of just giving me new ideas to try out. Like, whenever I get an idea now for a build, I like to try it out in creative on another world and just go, hmm, well, this could be good. Well, if I did this, and then I just try different things and make notes, take pictures and stuff, and it really bloody helps. Who'd have thought the dyspraxic, chaotic, neutral guy needed help? Uh, it's only that I realized that sooner. <laughs> But I am quite chuffed with our recent builds. I know that obviously the Carnotaurus just fell into the same sort of trap of the rest of the builds, but I wanted to keep an almost pattern. Otherwise, what I'd have to do is if I made the, the Carnotaurus really pretty, I'd have to go, oh, these need to be really pretty, and these need to be really pretty, and these need and so on and so forth. And just redoing work doesn't really feel like I'm doing new work. I know it is, but it's just like, eh. Whereas with this, we're just bridging the gaps with the um, industrialization, which is making me feel really, really happy about it because I love the way it looks. Obviously, we've still got a little bit more to do on the smock build. Uh, so that is what the next few episodes will be, of course. Uh, just continuing the smock build. If we come over to the smock build, how did how far did I get on the catacombs off camera? I suppose we can find out. I've got to remember where I put the smock. It's over here. So, obviously, this is a hench build. We have got a lot to do. The actual entrance completely done. The outside needs a little bit of work around the building, uh, the actual terrain and the... Um, wall in here we need to replace all of this wall with something interesting i suppose and then we've got to do the connection of that i've managed to get a few blocks done um as you can see in some directions i want to get the dead ends done first the, this one because this is a big old dead end um which is going to be a nightmare for people <laughs> and then i want to do some off-camera work on it as well so you know, I'll probably get another episode or two done before we do a bit of off-camera work. So I'm thinking next episode, we will just try and get some of this filled in with what we've done already off-camera. Um, then come back in here and try to get this done so I can actually say, well, I've not jumped, just, you know, onto another thing before finishing in here. Because if I can get this finished, then I can move on to that and then do more of this off-camera and then hopefully wrap it all up within, I'd say, four or five episodes. It should be done. We can move on to the next part. Which, to be, if I remember, was it the industrialization or was it the railway? I think it was the railway. Let's have a little goosey gander, shall we? You can keep that phrase because I freaking love it. Because a ga a, is it a gaggle of geese? Um, but I don't know where a gander has come from, and I love it. Right here we go. Smock, suggested by Trike. Trike, absolute thank you. Great idea. Continue railway. I like that. And then something else, and then urbanization. And the something else won't be as big as the smock enclosure, but I want to try and keep it on this side so we can just fill a little bit more out on this side, or maybe something over there. We'll see. But we've got all this empty space over here that we can do something with, and just keeping it close to this is just awesome, in my opinion, because if you come up here, you can see quite far in many different directions, especially with like the render distance I've put it at so that I can get a reasonable 120 frames. <laughs> I mean, I can even see into the village where we kidnap reallocated people, rehomed. That is crazy. I can even see the aviary. That is freaking crazy. All the way from up here. And I think that is just so cool. And just being able to get more and more builds of just different varieties throughout where I can just go, wow, there's the smock down there and go, huh, what's over here? And just fly to it using our elytra. Just, you know, glide effortlessly. And 
Here we go. Can I make it to the glowstone? I think we can. Beautiful. Um, so we have got quite a little bit more to go. I appreciate it's most of this episode was just bambling and rambling and bumbling about. But I wanted to show you guys that the build is done. I'm super duper psyched about it. And I can't wait until the new world download where those that now know what it is and have access to it can go and have a look. Because just like the um, episode 200 build, there is a chest hidden somewhere. Um, I will reveal that you don't need to dig any blocks out. It is somewhere and it has got some interesting stuff in there. I'd 100% recommend checking it out. But I'm still super happy with our episode 200 build. I just wish the mobs wouldn't kill each other so frequently. <laughs> or run into a wall or something stupid. But hey, there is that. Now, I think this is a great place to end the video. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you do smash the like button down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to because if you're it's super duper appreciate it. My name is Fredo You can call me V. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and ta -ra.